Here's your leave at home work. What you want to do is place the treat on the floor and then put your foot over that treat and tell your dog to leave it. When your dog can look at the treat that's on the floor and not go for it, you're going to click and give them a different treat. Repeat this process. Once your dog can look at that treat on the floor and not go for it, then what you can do is you can make the exercise more difficult by picking the treat up and dropping it. And while you're dropping it, you're going to be saying, leave it. If your dog doesn't go for that treat, you're gonna click and give them an alternative. If your dog does go for the treat, you're gonna cover that treat that's on the floor. What you're going to notice here is that Little is reluctant to take the treat that he can actually take because he understands leave it so well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to encourage him to take the treat that he can take and leave the treat that he can't have. Remember, when you're doing this exercise, the dog does not have to be in a sit or a down. I want the dog free to be able to go for that treat. But what you're going to do is you are going to guard that treat that's on the floor that he can't have. To make the exercise more challenging, now what I'm doing is I'm throwing the leave it treat directly at Little and he is backing away from that because he knows he can't have it. Leave it. 